G'day and welcome to Mark and Sam After Work. Today I want to do a video about cartridge comparisons. Um, it's probably a little bit of a pet peeve of mine. Um, over the years I've heard it used largely in sales but sometimes just in not understanding or trying to make a point um, that might not be quite as accurate as it seems to be. But cartridge comparisons. And I suppose there's two real ways to look at what we're talking about, whether that's a 243 versus a 300 Win Mag or it's a, um, normally the new kit on the block, the, the, like the 65 Creedmoor to the, um, to the 300 Win Mag, or it's the, um, what have we got here, the 3006 to the 308, the, the 300 PRC to the 33 at the poor, um, in whatever comparison we're talking about. There's two main ways to talk about it in what I consider is the correct way to talk about it. If you're talking cartridges, you're talking the cartridge. You're not talking what you can buy it in, you're not talking the rifles you can buy it in, you're not talking to all the other semantics that change this conversation to something else. Um, which, like I said, to me, that's the more honest way to talk about a cartridge. It's design and what that cartridge can do versus what you can get for it. And that's the other way to look at it. What I'm talking about there is what factory ammo you can buy or what rifles that are chambered in that are normally set up like. So what I'm actually talking about there, well, let's go as a good case in point, would be a 270 Winchester. And the round was is a, is a great round, been used for hunting many years, lots of good stories with it, lots of how wonderful it is and that type of things. Uh, but now it'll be used in compared to something else like the 6.8 Western that's just come onto the block. Um, the truth of it is, is that the 270 is a good design. It worked really well, but generally it's set up. The ammo that you can buy off the shelf and the rifles that you can buy, factory rifles you can buy for it, uh, set up to sh shoot a smaller round for hunting side of things. So less distance, less effective at long range um, because of the setup. There's a little bit in the subtle details of the cartridge, of the actual card chambering and the cartridge shape, but largely what it can buy. What twist, what length barrels, what bullets you can buy, what bullets can run in that twist and all that sort of stuff. What I mean by that for people to understand is that <clears throat> the rifling, the twist in the, in the barrel, the actual, whether it's a 1 in 8 twist or 1 in 10 twist or 1 in 12 twist or 1 in 14 twist, that determines what weight bullet you can run in. In just hunting and closer ranges, then a lighter bullet with more speed gives you a flatter trajectory um, and you need less twist for that. Or more to the point, you can't run too much twist on that sort of, of projectile. So that's how they're set up. The 270 was quite commonly, 270 Winchester was quite commonly sold in a 20 inch or a 22 inch barrel, or even an 18 inch barrel in a sporter barrel with a low twist to shoot that sort of bullet. Um, and if you're talking efficiencies in our ELR range, extreme long range, or even long range shooting in, in the likes of um, what really came to the forefront a little while ago was a 6.5 Creedmoor, um, really with PRS shooting, now it's the 6 mil Creedmoor. Uh, but after more about competition shooting, a little bit used on the hunting side of things, but really a competition round where shooting out to a thousand yards became much more where you were trying to get to or beyond but it means you want a more efficient bullet, so a heavier bullet with a better BC. And then you want to throw the chamber forward and run a, longer, a bit longer barrel, um, a heavier barrel with faster twist to be able to make all that happen. Um, and I suppose that's where I'll go into one of, the cart one of the cartridge comparisons, which is probably the first one that I thought, oh, what are they talking about? Why can you say that? And that is, uh, what is it? These two here, 6.5 Creedmoor versus 300 Win Mag. And there's a fair few videos saying out there that in actual fact, the 6.5 Creedmoor will outperform the 300 Win Mag. Now, in a very simple way of looking at this, the very, very simple way to look at it, if you take all the what you can buy the rifle in, what rounds you can buy across the counter, all that sort of stuff, and go to just the cartridge, no, of course it can't outperform the 300 Win Mag. More powder, heavier bullet, capable of running a bigger BC bullet because uh, the bigger the caliber, the bigger the bullet, the higher BC it can run, with more powder, which means more energy, which means that it can go further and that cartridge can perform in the, in, under the brackets of perform, shoot out at longer ranges with more energy, um, with a better ballistic coefficient, so easier, well, uh, more efficient for the bullet to get onto target. 
the bigger bullet, the more powder gives it that. It simply has more power, so performance-wise, it is going to win. And you can simply check this out very simply by looking at them to start off with. And if you haven't got there and you're listening to this, uh, that sort of conversation, is go and look up Wikipedia or look in your loading manual or look where it is and you'll see that your Creedmoor is roughly going to be running somewhere between 40 and 45 grains of powder. And your 300 Win Mag is going to be roughly running somewhere between your 70 and 80 grains of powder. So almost twice as much. Almost twice as much. Your bullets in your Creedmoor, you're going to be running from 120 grain up to 150 grain. So in a 6.5 and the ballistic coefficients that are according to that, in your 300 Win Mag, you might be down as low as 150, but really you're running into the 200s and 230s and even 250 grain projectiles. So bullet weight, powder, energy, there isn't a comparison really. The comparison comes into it is if you take a round that is set up with a low BC bullet set up for those rifles that you could buy like that and with the, with the 300 Win Mag, you're talking about rifles that were set up in one in 12 twist and things like that, set up more for hunting, uh, with running a 150 grain bullet there and then you compare that bullet which is very much set up more for your closer to medium range hunting and compare it with the Creedmoor bullet set up for trying to shoot out at a thousand yards with a 140 grain bullet with good jump as you notice here the bullet is extended out a long way into that chamber that's how the rifles were set up a one and eight twist barrel um, 24 to 26 inch barrel it comes to where then those two things one set up like a four wheel drive and one set up like a formula one and then they go and compare them on a formula one track guess what the formula one wins the moment you take your 300 Win Mag and do the same things, put the right twist in it, put the right barrel length in it, um, put the right bullet in it, push it forward a little bit to make it make sense, then all of a sudden you've got two Formula Ones and the big horsepower one wins. So that's it, and we've seen it through a few places. The, the most recent one, um, well, I mentioned the 270 and then the 68, there'll be comparisons there. Um, here we've got the 300 PRC and the 338 Lapua. Same sort of deal. If you look up your powder weights, that you're looking at 10% more powder. 10 to 15% more powder can run in your 3-threat lapeurs. So it, can, it runs a 300 grain bullet versus normally around a 200 grain bullet. So if you look at the comparisons there, then when it's set up properly, there is no comparison really. The 338 the is going to push a lot harder. If you come back down to running a less efficient bullet, so a 250 grain bullet in your 338, which has a lower BC, and then you put the most efficient bullet in the 300 PRC with the right twist to do it, and that's the same conversation. The first, a lot of the 300, sorry, the 338 Lapeurs were set up with a one in 12 twist barrel. Um, that's how a lot of them were set up, which means they couldn't run the 300 grain projectile, so they, it was about what you could buy on the shelf, what you could buy in the rack, and that is what limited it versus to a rifle that was set up properly. If you're comparing, if you're actually doing a comparison on both rifles, both cartridges, I should say, set up appropriately, running in rifles set up appropriately, once again, there's very little in the way of a comparison you can actually do. And down at the other end here, this is one from old, a long time ago, but another one of those strange comparisons. And that is, the, the, if you look at them, they're completely, they're quite obviously quite different. But that's the 308 versus the 3006. Now, it is a tall, skinny cartridge. In your, it, it tapers off more and it's thinner in the 3006, but it still can run a decent amount more powder. Um, and your the than the 308. So they run really. They can run the same bullets, and it's much more a case of the 308 came out afterwards, so it must be better. And people who are spruiking the 308, but a little bit also the rifle setup side of things. But once again, a simple logic. It can run more powder, which means it can perform better. It has more horsepower, so it can go further because of that. So I suppose I've got these two just on the end just to show that it is, it's little and big, that's what we're talking about. Um, and when I talk about performance, I'm talking about the horsepower, I'm talking about the power it can deliver at range, I'm talking about all that side of things. It does not mean better. So if you want to talk about any of these, and that's including the 50 down to the 243 down, down, two, two, down the other end there. Um, better, bigger isn't better, more horsepower isn't better, more performance isn't better. It is simply the performance. You put a novice in a Formula One, you've got a wrecked Formula One. 
So it doesn't work that way. Better doesn't make you go better. It comes down to your combination. It comes down to what you want. And that may be the gentle shooting, super accurate. And out of this little conversation here, this 223 performs really, really well for almost anyone with the basics of training can perform really well. It's what the 223 does so well because it's still nice and efficient. It's still in the right setup and set up properly, works very well. It doesn't deliver a lot of energy, but way enough for anything in the way of targeting and close range or in the out to 600 yards hunting sort of thing, depending on the, on the species and things like that that you're doing that with. Really, I'm more in the hunting side of things. And the reason this performs so well is there's such little recoil. You can set up in light rifles. Everything works really well for that sort of stuff. And you'd think at the other end here, if we're just talking performance is better than the 50 BMG with a super efficient, high, um, very low drag um, bullet set up and it all done to the extreme. That would be the best. Well, no, that's the one that I'm doing the most work with to try and get it to shoot as accurately as possible. And that's because of all the vibration and shock and things that go on at fires um, made as it was designed to in a machine gun to go bang, 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 bang out there and send off a bunch of rounds in a in a accurate but machine gun fashion. Yes, it works fine in turning into an extreme precision rifle, a lot more work to do. And the same can be said, we've got that comparison over here, but right back down to your 6.5 Creedmoor and your 300 Win Mag. Well, your 6.5 is pretty easy to shoot, and as much as set up well, the 300 Win Mag can be as well. In a lot of cases, the 300 Win Mag is just too much, takes too much setting up, and just is too much for the average shooter to really get to perform as well when we're talking group size at 100 yards or even grip size at 1,000 yards, most shooters will do better with the 6.5 Creedmoor because of the extra horsepower. So like I said, whether that's a, whether that's a top fuel drag car um, and yeah, you, you've got to be able to drive the damn thing. There's no point having all the horsepower unless you know how to do it. So that's, um, that's sort of the, the, the bit I wanted to say. The main, like I said, the pet peeve or the gripe I hear is this comparison thing. If you turn it into what you can buy, this cartridge in what you can buy is ends up outperforming this cartridge in what you can buy, then okay, I can, I can be on board with that conversation. But when you simply tell me that a 6.5 Creedmoor will outperform a 300 Win Mag, I've got to say, no, it won't. <laughs> the, um, the combination, the bullets you're using, the rifle you're using, that might be the case. But if you let them both, if you let the reins go on both of them, the big one's going to charge off out in front. Anyway, guys, that's about what I can tell you. Um, hope you liked the video. Thanks for checking in. We'll catch you next time.